right, you guys, you would not believe me. I caught the sheep. Even Larry was in the vlogs. I could not even believe it. Of course, the one time I didn't set up the camera to video, I caught them. It was actually like literally so easy. So, um, it's actually Thanksgiving Day today. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Um, but I'm gonna run home, get the trailer, haul them home. I have not told anybody that I caught them and I'm gonna do it all by myself. We caught them, so now we're gonna haul them home by ourselves and we're gonna do this, so. Hope everything goes well. All right, girls, it's time to go. Come on, girlies. Yep, keep going. Keep going. Please go down. Turn around. Let's go. Come on, dude. Follow them on. We made it. Hopefully, we can make it home safely. I mean, it's the best Thanksgiving ever. Not the sheep. Alrighty, you guys. So today we are doing the petting zoo. And we also, Sadie also is going to have her store. So, um, it's like, um, it's called window opening in it. Or in it, Sabetha. Um, so... They normally have reindeer come. Well, this year, something with the people's truck, it wasn't working. I don't know. Anyways, the reindeer are not able to come, so they asked us to bring our petting zoo instead. So we're bringing that. It's going to be bitterly cold. It's going to be miserable. I cannot complain, though, because I'm actually going to be inside in the heated with Sadie in the store. Um, I'm going to be, like, decorating and whatever else, whatever she wants me to do. Anyway, so I actually have a photo shoot before that. So we kind of have our work cut out for this afternoon. Um, so... I've got to get the trailer loaded up with all the petting zoo equipment, fencing, all that good stuff. It's cold out here. It's crazy. I can't feel my toes or my fingers. See, give my hug. Alrighty, you guys, so I've got something I've got to explain here real quick. So, I had a photo shoot in a town that I was shooting at, and I was on my way home. Um, when I went into town, it was just starting to snow, but wasn't bad at all. Um, I was in there for three hours, and then um, in that time, the roads had gotten pretty bad. Um, they were really slick. The roads were just a sheet of ice. So, I was on my way home, and... Um, if y'all have ever been in our area, I mean, we're not exactly flat, um, but I've been in areas where it's hillier than here. But anyway, so I was going over the hills. Um, I thought I wasn't going that fast, um, but I was kind of going too fast for the conditions of the road. Um, so I popped the hill and um, I felt my car starting to speed up. So I went to the brakes and they locked up. Um, we started spinning on the road. Uh, we went uh, off the road, barely missed a telephone pole, hit someone's fence. Uh, I did not hit any hedge post. I just hit T-post, uh, thankfully. I did not. It was barbed wire. I don't know how many strands, but I didn't break the top wire. I just went under it. 
Um, there was a plow on the other side of the fence that I hit. Uh, my car bounced off of it, um, but the metal, I had metal on my tire, so that's what stopped me because it was on a straight downhill. So if I would have not hit that plow, I probably would have kept going straight down into the creek. Um, so I'm very thankful for that in a way. I'm very thankful. I am okay. Um, I wasn't really that sore the next day. Um, I'm really surprised that airbags didn't go off in the car because, um, I mean, it was, it was pretty rough. It was a pretty rough ride. I was actually driving my sister's car, so that didn't really help the situation out. This happened on a Saturday night. Um, the collision that towed it was not able to get to it till uh, Monday morning. So we got to get the plow fixed and the fix fixed, but thankfully nobody was hurt. I didn't hit anybody else. There wasn't anybody else on the road. We're very thankful for that. <laughs> here and um, so we thought maybe the fence fencer wasn't working or something came down here got him in and um, the fencer's gone the fencer was sitting right here and it was our high-powered um, solar panel fencer very expensive fencer I think it'll when we bought it several years ago it cost like $500 or more yeah, it's gone. It's probably gonna cost us more than to get a new one, I mean, but. So, yeah, somebody stole it. Um, just, yeah, it's so sad that they need to do that. Anyway, so now I got another fencer. Um, it's not a very high powered fencer, but hopefully it'll be good enough to get the job done. So Elsie and I are here, uh, it snowed about three or four inches on Saturday, some of it's melted now, and their alfalfa is pretty well gone here, this was the alfalfa field, so we brought a hay bale, set up the crow, caught them, and now we're going to haul them to a big corn stalk field where we're putting a lot of our cows. trailer the truck couldn't get traction so we we're spinning out and couldn't get anywhere so dad brought the dually we're gonna pull it out the heifers and alfalfa bale here. I'm gonna give it to them.
the feed in her blazer, which is kind of funny. <laughs> we were a few calves short because we haven't been keeping enough heifers the last few years. We've been culling too many cows and not keeping enough heifers, so dad bought a group of calves from the sale barn this week to finish out the pens. So they look like pretty nice calves. Those little runts that are coughing, those are ours, but these big ones are the ones he bought. So they're straight off the cow, so we're going to run them through and give them some vaccinations. <laughs> Thank you. 